you. You're lying there, you know. If you're honest, in the house, I'm happy, man. Like, grenades are still gonna be thrown, fire is still gonna be thrown. It's not roster as it pastels, you know. Like, Yolanda will make sure that everyone is still, um, also bad, like, it, like, bit by bit. So, shout out to our queen who's still in the house. I'm happy that she's still there. I just hope she really survives, you know, cause it's, they are really, um, doing too much on her right now. Since now that I'm not there, and it makes me so fucking pissed, you know, with the Annie Colapan actually to just, it's, you know, and when we together, it's a serious tag team, you know, um, it's a crazy one. It's a crazy one. But yeah, man. She's she's strong, trust me. Um, from someone who knows her personally, and I saw a lot of y'all are really concerned. Trust me, Yolanda is a very strong girl. So, yeah. Oh, like if they thought they are gonna make um Yolanda lose her game um by removing Mitch, nah, they got it all wrong. Cause our Yolanda is definitely a crazy motherfucker. You know that girl. There's nothing that can defeat um my friend um at this point. Like nothing at all. That girl is too strong. So that's an update to. Um, to y'all that are concerned, um, cause I can see, I mean, like, y'all really take it to heart, um, what they say to her. Now that's a strong girl, she's been through the worst. Um, it's not my place to say what she's been through, but trust me, she's gonna say it herself, that she has seen the worst, the worst, the worst, and she survived it all, you know. So, what those peanuts are doing at the house, it's just talks, man. Psh, psh, yes, sir. So, yeah. But, yeah, man, it really, um, on my side, um, thank you so much for the love. Trust more content is still to be dropped. This is Mitch spitting it hot like fire for his friendship and defending her, you know, and wishing that he was in the house to defend her with all the shenanigans happening in the house with Yolanda. Meanwhile, talking about Yolanda, we have a lot to discuss about her, okay? So watch this video till the very end so you don't miss any gist at all. Hey, babies, and how are you all doing? doing welcome back to sale with mimi shortly mimi where you get the gist i see they do it in i see the hearts of course you know there's no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel if you snooze you do what you lose are you yet to subscribe to this channel or are you still sitting on a fat long thing kindly pause right there subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell if not tell me how do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pots like how do you want to get the gist i see the heart guys is giving the ex-housemate drumming their support for the housemate okay all right um mile said i would definitely vote for makeke i like him and yolanda together and then someone said, not Sinaye, and the other one said, Mile, what about your sister, Liema? Anyways, I just want to thank you once again for giving the dagger to the boy. Lilies are very grateful for that. Please give Liema some votes. You're telling Mile to give Liema some votes, which she got disappointed in the house that Liema did nominated her at some point. So I think it's fair if she doesn't want to give her a vote. It is very, very okay because at least Liema was not the person she was closer to in the house i think she would have drum support for else but seeing that um else do not really have a huge fan base that's why she actually paused but at the same time she would have still at least still continue drumming for her until she leave the house at least else is still in the house the person Mille should have you would have said oh Mille, you did not mention else because she is still in the house and she's up for nomination Anyways, talking about this ex housemate, seeing things happening in the house, it may seem as though we're gonna be getting a whole lot of talks from them, like right up this scene to the housemates in the house. In fact, it may seem as though they are still gonna be training their drag dagger from wherever they are outside because Mitch do not take it funny the way Yolanda is being treated. All right, I'm um, talking about conversing for votes. Chuenza is actually calling out, out for Yolanda. Chuenza is rooting for Yolanda. As you can see, obviously, you know, Chuenza's page, he posted Yolanda. So asking people to vote for Yolanda. It may seem as though the set of housemates are left really. Okay, well, I do not blame them. They are her friends, right? And then Chuenza said, um, Somebody told Twenza, Chomi, find your way back into the house, please. I miss your singing. And then Twenza said, my Yoli Yoli will soon sing something. I trust her. And then this is Twenza telling you guys that thoroughly enjoyed this interview a lot. Thank you, DSTV Lawrence Malaka, my hobby. It is out on YouTube if you haven't watched yet. So this is Twenza saying that his interview with Lawrence is out on YouTube. And where you would find it is Bibi Zanzi's YouTube channel.
so go and watch it enjoy it and refresh yourself i'm very sure that of other housemates are also there so go see them and um this is also trends are saying um his celebrity look alike somebody please tell bonang how much i love her and how everyone says i look like her i've been hearing that bonang a whole lot right but does trends look like bonang let me know what you think now this is what trends said we should be expecting from him post show from me to you love you dan nzanzi you know so this is it this is the write-up you know okay first off strength i was saying thank you you know to those who has voted for him i would like to take the opportunity to thank everyone who has witnessed my journey on the biggest show in the country most importantly i would like to thank those that have voted for me and even though we didn't make it in the big brothers game you know that was a thank you and this is what the future hold for him i am definitely going to infiltrate the south african entertainment industry hey carry you all are going to be sick of me okay i definitely want to be one of the best tv and radio presenter of this generation and best believe i will ensure that happens no man can journey they didn't call me chuenza the influencer for nothing i am also going to grow my brand as an influencer fashion and lifestyle is definitely the areas i'll be focusing on yes with presenting uh chuenza you are good with that we saw you in the house we saw you display show off what you are made of so you are really good with that we are all here rooting for you. We wish you the very best, you know. We wish you all the positivity, good tidings life got to offer you. Utilize them. That's the best. We just all we just need is to be sharing here. Yo, trends out did this one. Mile did that one. Mitch did this one. We just want to be celebrating the ex housemates for positivity and the good things they are doing. Post show. In conclusion, thank you, Nzanzi, for watching me for a full six weeks and 24 7 on this huge platform thank you big brother for being the big brother that i really never had i love you deep to all the haters please continue because one thing about me the hate motivate me to work even harder at my goals i love you so much in zanzi love Twenza the influencer so haters naysayers Twenza said i should tell you all you all got nothing on her you are just doing yourself that the more you come for her the more she get the eagerness to do well now that is it for the ex-husband let's enter the house okay so let's start about last night this was um Mpumi, you know complaining on how the house is just coupled up and you would not even have the time to have conversation with anybody in the house anybody you want to have conversation with already have a pair they have they find um interesting they do, that's the only people they want to talk to she was telling makeke this like makeke don't you find it funny that there is nobody to talk to in this house you know everybody is just coupled up it's not giving that mpumi feels maybe she wouldn't have opted out of this jalimpu thingy because this one, she's complaining about loneliness like this. Anyways, talking about loneliness, the chairman of being lonely, one person we know to be a loner, surprised us last night. As like he had a long talk session with Else. Like guys, I remember Else telling Mark Jr. that you can never get close to me and talk to me the way you talk to Liema. And this is the two of them getting along. Could this be the spirit of eviction doing all of this? <laughs> Of nomination i mean like they had long conversation talking about love life you know their high school life you know even the ages your faves are talking the age they were mentioning when they started kissing all my world i was thinking else was even too much until pumi joined the conversation guys if you see the age when pumi said she started kissing deep kissing and all of that i'm like yo this conversation read me up that i'm like wait that means all these kids will look at the streets, they come to meet us, auntie this, auntie that. They don't spoil finish show. They don't do boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> hey. Well, how I be like bicycle guys, like the grade they were mentioning. Those grades, I want to understand. Grade in South Africa, is it like secondary school? <laughs> Anyways, let me skip that part. So, um, like I said, Mark Jr. and um, Els had so much time having conversation and guess what they stayed out till the early hours of the morning today and biggie also did pull his stunt on them you know most of the housemates were sleeping except for mac jr else and of course the z puppy sheep that is z and young puppy and big brother now said housemates 
freeze as at that time people that were sleeping do not know what was happening it was mark jr <laughs> it was mark jr posture that was actually getting me else was already in the room you know the room was blackout you know z and papi holding each other on their bed and then they were so scared they do not know what stone biggie will be pulling out on this time around but they actually held themselves but guess what it was just a sound a shaky sound that sound was kind of funny they were so scared as f like they were really so scared as f and afterwards big brother said on freeze and then else was like please mark jr follow me to the um lounge i want to go and take something mark jr was like i am also scared nigga <laughs> when they got their big start the sound again they were their hearts eh? skipped and then z and papi made it was they started throwing something from upstairs else almost fainted they were thinking it's coming from biggie or something now guys hmm. guys this is no longer funny between yolanda and papa ghost it is no longer funny like i said yesterday i said i hope nobody catch a strike because of this shenanigans that is happening right now you know because um i do not say i think it is getting out of hand at this point with all of the happenings between Papa Ghost and Yolanda yesterday, today, this morning again, Papa Ghost took um, shoes and everything on Yolanda's bed. Yolanda retaliated. And you know when Yolanda retaliates, it's always worse. See, Yolanda was throwing his duvet, his bedspread, his pillow, every, even her own sleep slippers. Um, she was throwing it over. Like people were asking Yolanda, Yolanda, they were even calling her from down. Like Z was calling her Yolanda. She did not answer. Papa Ghost was like, look at you, breathe dog, breathe dog. <laughs> I'm like, hey, gosh, I hope at this point Yolanda do not retaliate with her hand or something. Because I have seen one or two occasions where they had ish in the house. And she said, thank God I was not close to that person. I would have actually probably hit the person on this. I hope she did not do that with Papa Ghost. Because... All they are trying to do now is for anybody who would go home. It is getting turned up. But I really, really wish that Biggie would stop this. I think Biggie should stop this at this point. It is not funny. Not at any point. This is not funny. Forget some people saying, oh, this really happened between BBM, Big Brother Africa season. That was Big Brother Africa season. This is not Big Brother Africa. I do not like this kind of thing, especially to the extent of trying to throw people things anyhow. I do not like it because I have a feeling that this will actually end to a bad result. I really have the feeling. The show is getting to an end and so many people have the potential of winning here not to lose it to you know, little fracas. So I really wish Piggy would address this because first off, you know, go started it. Let's be sincere. Go started this thing again. You know, now Yolanda is doing it to an extreme. I don't know how this will end. I don't know if Biggie is going to address it or whether he would leave it to hit up to the extent where there would, there will have to be a strike or disqualification. But at this point, it is just too much. At this point, it is really too much. And I think Ghost found a match. Because if he did not find a match, he did not see a, find a person who would actually keep calm for him. This one is, you do me one, I do you two. It is funny, enjoyable to watch, right? But I think it is okay at this point. What do you think about all of the shenanigans with Papa Ghost and Yolanda? Let me know in the comment section. All right, coming from Gracious, Yolanda is a female version of Kegan and Lukele with some of Karen's threats. She is not scared of anyone in the house. You come at her, prepare yourself for tsunami. Meanwhile, I'm telling you, you see Karen's season with Lukele. Oh my God. Oh my god, I don't even want to talk about that. I hate them housemates. How can you go to a house on national TV and come together as a unit to punish a single housemate? Even if the housemate is annoying, why not first the person as an individual? They are literally giving Yolanda the money and it's pissing me off. That's what I'm saying. At this point, if it goes to the finale and Yolanda wins it, I'm not going to be surprised. Though before all of this shenanigans started happening, I was not going to be surprised if she wins it because she has been standing up from the beginning till now. And then she has not gone home. So she stands the chance to win. You know? So, but at this point, housemates ganging up, laughing over it. It is no longer funny. It is not funny. You know, now it has gotten so petty. They will be transferring their belongings, throwing it out anyhow. Anyways, guys, just tell me what you think in the comment section. Because I'll be dropping my voice right here. And now, I really hope you get addressed this soon. Okay? I will see you guys later. Bye for now, babies. And make sure you're having a great day.